<laughs> what's up with my agents we got a lot going on today so before we get into it before i explain i just need y'all to hit the like button hit the subscribe button and comment for me i need y'all to do that tap in with me man rock with me i need oh, yeah man let's check this out i got a gas tank I'm about to stop at harbor freight we're gonna get some work in today we're gonna do we're gonna do some work it ain't it ain't the work you're thinking about it's the work nobody wants to do we're doing that today and we're gonna we're gonna see just, just come come with me i'm gonna take you with me let's go we are here this harbor freight is new to the area um this is not a sponsor video they, they do not sponsor me <laughs> but we going in here today to go get some stuff that we need for this project we're here they just put this harbor freight here not too long ago so this is new to the area um, it was one that was a little further. I used to have to go travel hella far to go to get hit, to get to Harbor Freight, but now we here. So we about to go in here and get what we need real quick. All right, store number one, 18 bucks. I probably should have got this motherfucker from Home Depot. They probably would have had it cheaper, but I'm already here. Fuck it, 18 bucks for the for the for the broom. Should have went to Home Depot. Fuck, it's all right. Off to AutoZone. Stop number two. Let's go in here and see what we get. I wish I could have got everything at stop number one, but I couldn't. So we're going to stop number two now. AutoZone. Last stop. Like, well, why do you need some gas? What, what, is, what happened? You're going to see. I'm going to break it down for you. Now back to the house we go. Got everything we need. Now it's time to go get the work in. <laughs> stay with me, stay with me. Yeah, man, so I'm back at the house. Let's see what we got going on. Everything we need, right? So I am about to attempt to clean up this transmission oil off the off the garage floor. Let's look at let's look at it. Let's look at it. So I've never did this. I've never done this. This is gonna be my first attempt at this. I called my homeboy, asked him how do I do it. He never responded back to me. I'm not the type of person to wait on anybody. So I'm about to just do what I think. So I'm gonna, okay. All right. So I got an idea of what I'm gonna do. Stay with me. After you after you watch this video, if you see what I did and be like, man, you could have did that better. You got a better way to do it. Let me know. Jump in the comment section. And let me know and let everybody else know so we can find an easier way to do this because I'm, I'm, I'm jumping in head first. Hands already dirty, but I expected that. So stay with me. Stay with me and stay with me. So first thing I'm going to do is try to get the couple of these towels. Try to get this as dry as I can get it real quick is what I'm going to do first. Um, so everything that I'm using today, these towels, right? Let's walk over here. I'm going to use some degreaser. I'm not using the gas. Don't, don't. And I'm going to use some um, some washing detergent. And there go the broom. And, of course, some bum-ass sneakers. Because I don't want to get my, my, my fresh shoes dirty. So bum ass sneakers. So I feel like this is as dry as it's gonna get. I actually, I moved the car. I moved her out there to get, to let the, so the transmission fluid could dry a little bit and let it left her out there, left them out there for a week. Left her out there for a week to let this transmission fluid dry a little bit right so my plan is after i clean this up i am going to put this under the money so the transmission fluid can leak on that 
and then I'll dump that every so often until I get the chance, until I get the, the reason that she's leaking fixed. And I know why she's leaking. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be, that's gonna be that. So now I'm going purple power on there first. Purple power. We're gonna see how this works, man. Right. Next, I'm going laundry detergent right over my purple powder. Be careful when mixing detergents and other chemicals, man. You don't want to blow nothing up. So don't don't blow nothing up. Don't blow nothing up and say you got it from Hodge. Be careful when mixing chemicals. I don't I don't recommend it. But I'm going. I'm going purple power and laundry detergent together right and if you marry be careful because your wife might be mad if you use an auto laundry detergent <laughs> don't say how i told you i don't, I don't want to be the cause of your divorce but i'm gonna let that sit for a little bit right and then after that sit for a little bit i'm gonna hit it with that broom and we're gonna see what happens See if I can get that, that stain up out of there. I'm gonna tap back in with y'all in a second. It's another stain right here. Um, this was here when we moved to the spot. But since I'm doing it, why not do this one too? Shit, if it worked, why not? Let's try it. See what it does. Can't hurt nothing. I mean, well, it shit, it could. You make some chemicals, but <laughs> we gonna see what it do. We gonna see what it do. We gonna see what it do. I mean, I guess I could do this one too, huh? I don't know. I'm just gonna work on these for now. If it worked, then I'm gonna do, come back and do the whole garage. I'm gonna tap back in with y'all. So check this out. While that's in there, soaking. I'm gonna put some gas in the money. I pulled the money out to give the transmission oil in the garage a chance to dry a little bit and when i backed her out we on this slant she ran out of gas so i am going to put some gas in her now so when i clean that up i can pull her back into the garage or i could just take her to the gas station i gotta pull her back in the garage because i gotta change the motor mounts before i drive her anywhere and so what i got going on right now is i got the funnel connected to some pvc pvc pipe i got the funnel connected to pvc pipe because the gas tank, the way that it's leaning, it's hard to get this in there or just the funnel in there and, and lean it up because you got to kind of tilt it up. And it's, it's hard to do with the amount of space from the neck with the bumper being right there. So I just got some PVC pipe and threw that on there, quick fix, cheat code. She called. And it works for me. So I took. So I took this off the gas tank. So I could pour this directly in here. I'm just gonna lift it up and pour it directly in there. That's how I'm doing that. So I'm done. Wasted a little bit. Just a little bit trying to get the last little bit of gas out that gas tank i mean out that gas can that's how much i wasted not bad not bad trust me I, i've done this before without the fun without the without the pvc pipe gas fucking everywhere more gas on the ground than it was in the gas tank So it's been sitting for about five, maybe about five, 10 minutes. So I'm about to get ready to um, pull this broom out 
and I'm going to start brushing. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna take some elbow grease, I think. So I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put my Fitbit on, not my Fitbit. I'm gonna put my Apple Watch on. I'm gonna see how many calories I burn <laughs> while, while sweeping up this transmission fluid. Let's see. I'm gonna tap back in with y'all in a second. So, five minutes of sweeping and 66 calories later, I think I'm done. Um, it looked like it came up pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you over there and look at it. Um, I got tired of sweeping, to be honest with you. Um, and I was scared of falling. Feel like I was doing, I was worried about, I was more worried about falling and slipping, slipping and falling than I was actually getting it up. Um, I put the gloves on because I was breath, I was sweeping and I was, I was trying to sweep hard and the inside, the web of my hands between my thumb and my finger was starting to feel like I was rubbing too much. So I just threw some gloves on so I could, I could keep going without burning the web of my hand. So I think now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of water on it, um, rinse it, rinse it down the driveway, and then I'm I'm winging it too, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm winging it. Um, after I rinse it down the driveway, I might pull out some um, some towels and just kind of dry it up a little bit instead of waiting for it to dry. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I turned the fan on because that towel situation wasn't gonna work. It wasn't gonna work, it was too wet. So I turned the fan on uh, and I, I, I just let it sit for a while and let it dry on its own. I pushed all the water with the broom out the garage and then just turned the fan on and let the water sit there. I mean, let the water dry. So this is what it looks like now. And you can still see that stain there. Um, it wasn't, it was definitely worse. I think the camera making it look, <laughs> I'm blaming it on the camera. The, it's not all the way dry either. Yeah, it's still, I still see it. <laughs> you know what, it do look better though. To be honest with you, it looked better than it did. Especially this one. Especially this one, it looks better than it did. Um, I think I could have let it sit a little bit longer and maybe scrubbed a little harder. But it did come out a lot. So, I don't know, man. Um, let me know, man, if y'all got a different solution for cleaning oil and um, oil spots and transmission oil, transmission fluid spots up. Let me know. Let me know what y'all think. How do y'all attack it? So, I'm going to start this money up. I'm going to start her up, pull her in the, um, back in her spot and put that pan down and go on about my day. Still don't got enough gas. Yeah, so I tried to start her, she still don't got enough gas. So I got two options, push her back in the garage or go back to the gas station and get some more gas. I might have to go to the gas station and get some more gas sooner or later, but I got other stuff to do right now, man. Never enough time in a day, man. So I'm going to go run, take little Agent 8 to the park. Um, we got a workout with, with the little homie and little Agent 8. I'm about to work them out real quick. We're going to do some hitting. We're going to do some fielding. And then I'm going to come back and take care of this.
She will be in the garage today.